In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to Mary the Cross MacKillop in Balladura for the uh, Friday Mass for the ninth, Sunday, ninth, ninth week in ordinary time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, Keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You know what I have taught, how I have lived, what I have aimed at. You know what my faith my patience and my love, my constancy and the persecutions and hardships that came to me in places like Antioch, Iconium and Lystra. All the persecutions I have endured and the Lord has rescued me from every one of them. You are well aware then that anybody who tries to live in devotion to Christ is certain to be attacked while these wicked impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and deceived themselves. You must keep to what you have been taught and know to be true. Remember who your teachers are and how, ever since you were a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures. From these you can learn the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and can profitably be used for teaching, for refuting error, for guiding people's lives and teaching them to be holy. This is how the man who is dedicated to God becomes fully equipped and ready for any good work. The word of the Lord. <laughs> O oh Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O oh Lord, Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my foes and oppressors are countless, I have not swerved from your will. Your word is founded on truth, your decrees are eternal. O oh Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though princes oppress me without cause, I stand in awe of your word. The lovers of your law have great peace. They never stumble. O oh Lord, great peace of thy love, O Lord. I await your saving help, O Lord. I fulfill your commands. I obey your precepts and your will. All that I do is before you. O oh Lord, Lord, great, great peace of thy love, O Lord. Alleluia. And we will come to them. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. While teaching in the temple, Jesus said, How can the scribes maintain? that the Christ is the son of David. 
David himself, moved by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, and I will put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls, calls him Lord. In what way then can he be his son? And the great majority of the people heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hopefully this might be our last recording of the necessary of the masses, which means that we will be going back almost to normal this coming weekend. I think I'm right in saying that this time of the pandemic one of the things that we needed to have is a, a little bit of creativity. I think the same will be true of these days forward. Hopefully, uh, the threat of the pandemic for us here in Perth will continue to diminish and uh, gradually it will subside completely. That's what we hope for now. We are being warned to continue to observe the various practices and that will help this to happen, washing our hands and keeping distance from each other and so on. But let's be creative in ensuring that perhaps we do things in our worship of God and of our service of each other and those especially in need, in, with new enthusiasm, with new energy, uh, conscious of what needs to be observed or what needs to be noticed, as it were. And obviously, uh, the most obvious thing would be that there's going to be longer queues in the unemployment line going to be more people who will find it tough going. How will we handle that? As Australians, as people of this community of Mary of the Cross MacKillop, we need to be very much aware of that and be creative in continuing to solve and fix and assist in the best way we can. Let us rejoice in God, whose joy it is to pour out good things on his people. We fervently pray, Lord, give us your grace and your peace. Lord, give us your grace and your peace. Eternal Father, to you a thousand years are like yesterday, which is gone. Remind us that life is a flower that springs up in the morning, and by evening is nothing but hay. Lord, give us your grace and your peace. Give manna to your people so that they may not hunger. Give them living water so they may never thirst. Lord, give us your grace and your peace. We pray for Pope Francis, our Archbishop Timothy, and all the leaders of our world. Lord, give us your grace and your peace. We pray for our own community that we may respond to the needs of each day in the weeks and months ahead. Lord, give us your grace and your peace. For our children preparing for the sacraments, for the sick, and those who have gone to God, we commend them to you, Lord. Listen to these prayers and grant our needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim in the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, and giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, Don his auxiliary and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy 
kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not willing that you can enter into my room, but only say the word of my soul. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, but we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Amen. Amen.